John McKean back on Man United transfer radar as Greenfield Park planes made clearer. Here's the latest Aston Villa news for Friday, April 8. Stephen Gerrard will sit down with Birmingham Live later this afternoon, with updates expected from 2 p.m. onwards. Manchester United will try to sign Aston Villa midfielder John McKean for Eric Ten Hag if they manage to appoint him as their new head coach. Ten Hag is now favorite to sack it while Frank in the Old Trafford took out, with United reportedly ready to pay Ajax £1.7 million in compensations to seal the deal. The Dutchman has reportedly beaten Mauricio Pochettino to the job after months of speculation. United are already drawing up their list of transfer targets for the summer window and Phyllis McKean is reportedly back on their radar. The Telegraph reports McKean is a player of interest to the Old Trafford hierarchy. With England international Deacon Rice and Harry Kane at the top of their wanted list, Scottish Ice McKean has been linked with a £50 million switch to United before after glowing recommendations by compatriot Sir Alec Ferguson. The 2070 sold is under contract at Villa Park until 2025 and remains central to head coach Stephen Gerrard's place. Premier League winner and Tottenham chief Antonio Conte has fired a warning to Aston Villa, outlining how Harry Kane is spying in form. The England striker has scored 22 goals in all competitions for sports decisions including seven in his last eight games heading into Saturday's fixture at Villa Park. Against record against Villa, reads its goal in 10 match. Speaking to the media, Lyon Conte said of his main man's form, I think he deserves an important position in the world of football. I think Harry is also at the right age to show that he can be one of the best, best in the world and in history. He's already in history because he scored a lot of goals for the club. 243 in 378 games and the national team 49 in 69 caps. He's of the right age to uh, consolidate this and be one of the best. As we consult, has explained how the Aston Villa squad are targeting top half finish from now until the last week of May. Villa have just 8 games remaining and seat in 11. This one point behind Leicester City and Crystal Palace, who are above them in the table. Feel like go into this weekend, so down with sport. One of five hub fixtures left on a run of three defeats on speed. Stephen Gerrard men haven't hit the standard they have previously set and were pulled for a large spell this time out against Wolves. On what needs to happen to make things right again, Gonza told Villa TV. It hasn't been good enough for the last three games. It's tough because we have been in situations before. I think for me, it's just about us showing consistency when we won three games in a row. If we can get back to that form, I think that will be great. The upcoming 2020-23 seasons will be the last campaigns at Villa Park. As we know, it with plans in place to finally begin construction work on an entirely new north stand next summer. Last month, Aston Villa noted our capacity at Villa Park will increase to over 50,000 open completions of the first pass of the club stadium rebuilt. 